So we've done our due diligence. That looks great. I think it looks great. And it, it, it's, it, it's really nice and lightweight. It's got some good elasticity to it. I think you're going to love it. In fact, I know. Great. And then the linings go uh, amazing together. Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> the lining and the fabric, I think, look just grand. I, I love that. Yeah, it looks awesome. Yeah. And then the button, I think, is uh, spot on as well. Mm -hmm. that, yeah, that looks great. I trust you with the button. You, you guided me right. And I, yeah, it looks awesome. Great. I'm glad you're pleased. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to talk about uh, the the style of the suit. Um, and so, how many suits do you have in your wardrobe already? I have two suits currently. And they're both two button. They're both two button, yes. So would you like to stick with a two button? Um, I'm actually. I I do like the two button, but I am curious about the the one button. I kind of think that would look. It's a little bit more bold in the professional world, and I kind of want to go that way, actually. It's okay, so let's let's talk perfect. through it, right? So I'm wearing a one-button jacket, okay? Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, the button placement is only slightly lower than a two-button would be. Ultimately, it's over the belly, right? And this, uh -huh. these are two buttons, which is what you're used to wearing, right? And here's another one-button yes. jacket, okay? What I can also offer you is a three roll two, which where the third button is behind the roll of the lapel and the third buttonhole is in the lapel. But ultimately you'd only wear it as a two button suit would be worn, right? You'd button it up there, you'd button it up here, but it would be just like a two button suit, but you'd have the third button here and the buttonhole here. And the other option is to go for a full three. Like this. Okay. And like I said, the three roll two is ultimately a two button suit where the button would be hidden behind the lapel and the, the buttonhole would be in the roll of the lapel. So you've got four great options. Uh, you've opted not for double breasted, so we're not touching that. I'm not gonna make you a full button suit. So one button, two button, three roll two, or full three. So what's the difference, or how much height difference is between the two button and the one button? It's irrelevant, okay? Because okay. every style that you wear is gonna be cut this way. It's just how gotcha. you wanna dress your jacket. Are you dressing it with another button and buttonhole that's down here? Are you dressing it with another button uh, and buttonhole that's here and here, are you dressing with another button and buttonhole that's here and here? Ultimately, you're going to be wearing only this button. Gotcha. So I would want to go with the one button. Okay, so we're going to do a one button. So based on the fact that it's a one button suit, I'm going to cut it with a center pop vent. I've looked at your figure, okay. uh, I've looked at your measurements, forget about your measurements, I've looked at every, you know the digital stuff that you've sent me. This is going to suit you best. and. When you've got a skinny frame, it's, it's good to have something a bit dynamic in the back. Are you good with that? Perfect, yeah, that looks great. Great, so it will pop open slightly. You're cool with that? Yes, absolutely. And you would like a slim fit jacket, correct? Yes. Would you like... Well, is there a difference between skinny fit? Yeah, I was going to ask the next question. Do you want skinny or do you want... Would you like skinny or would you like slim? Uh, I'd probably... Yeah, skinny would be good. Skinny. Okay, skinny fit, great. Let's talk about the lapels, okay? I, I'm not sure where you bought your suits from, the two that you had, and how old they are, okay? But if you were to buy a very classic uh, American suit, Brooks Brothers, Hickey Freeman, Paul Stewart, they would generally have a notch lapel with an obtuse opening, okay? And okay. there's another one here, a notch lapel with an obtuse opening. If you were to buy something very shop window, mainstream, such as Hugo Boss, Paul Smith, Suit Supply, Ted Baker, Theory, J. Crew, you would have a semi-notch, very mainstream, slightly more cute opening. 
moving away from that to something more sartorially English would be a fish mouth, an even more acute opening. So this is very Savile Row, very J Jermaine Street, very Daniel Craig, very James Bond. A more acute opening. And then of course there's a peak lapel, like I'm wearing. Gotcha. So what lapel is best for you? One of the reasons I ask everyone to add me on, on Instagram, LinkedIn, etc., etc., is so that you can watch the videos and see, the, you know, basically the wealth of options available to you. So you're not overwhelmed when uh, uh, we get to the stage. I appreciate that. Yeah, I think I think I would want to go with the uh, fish mouth. I, I like that look a lot. Great. You like a, uh, a narrow lapel, medium, or wide? I like the narrow lapel for okay. sure. Remember, I won't ask you a question that leads to a wrong answer, okay? okay? I also won't let you make a mistake. Okay, I've, I've, I've studied your file before we've come to this stage. So how would you like okay. me to dress the lapel? Would you like it plain with no exterior stitching? Would you like a pick stitching? This dotted finish, dot, 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 dot. Or would you like a deep press? where it's a very firm line all the way around. This will be on the pocketing as well. Gotcha. I think I would go with no finishing. Okay. Would you like a buttonhole or no buttonhole? How would the buttonhole look on the narrow lapel? Would it look stuck? I think it would okay. look great. You got a pretty yeah, narrow yeah, lapel here? I think the yeah, buttonhole looks great. It's good that's to that's break great. up uh, the lines. Okay. So on the cuff, like any bespoke suit, this, the cuffs will be functional. They will open. Okay. Would you like the buttons lined up? Lined up? Or overlapping? Overlapping, for sure. I awesome. like that style. The button hole itself, right? Mm -hmm. Would you like it in a different color? Like um, here, there's what? a slight color variation, and then I the do, same on the yeah, cuff. I, I here, do like that accent. Um, what color would you suggest? With, with well, what what's your favorite color? Oh man, um, I like. I do like like a dark blue, like a navy blue almost. So let's do a dark blue. Okay. Okay. Perfect. If you had chosen something that it, that. <laughs> <laughs> that I didn't think would go, I would tell you, I promise you, okay? Really? <laughs> Let's talk about the exterior pockets. Let's talk about the lower pockets first. Would you like okay. two lower pockets? Two lower pockets or three lower pockets? Stay there, I'm coming. I, I like that three, actually. I think that looks really cool. Okay, great. So, three pockets. Here's two jackets that I just finished working on. Okay? Okay. So, three lower pockets. Three lower pockets. Three lower pockets. Would you like them great. slanted or straight? Slanted. I like, I like that slant. Slanted. Slanted. Really cool. Do you like a gap or an overlap? I like that overlap, yeah. Okay, full size or slightly undersized? I think undersized looks good, yeah. Okay, so slanted pockets, three pockets, <clears throat> and undersized. Excellent. Yes. The breast pocket, do you like a classic breast pocket or something more exaggerated with a curve and kick, a Barquetta breast pocket? Actually, yeah. Okay, great. So, guys, are we missing anything about the jacket that we need to ask him? How many vents are there? Vent, we're going to do a pop vent at the back. Okay. Anything else? No. Anything else you want to tell me about the jacket? Um, can we do the built in pocket square as well? I've seen It'll be that, done. That looks really For sure. Awesome. 100%. Keep going. Anything else? Think of this looks great. I'm very excited. 
cool. Let's talk about the pants. Would you like a buckle or belt loops? I like the buckle, yeah, for sure. Great stuff. So I think that concludes the consultation for now. I have one question about the trousers, the pants. Mm -hmm. Slim or skinny or regular? Um, I think I would keep it skinny. Okay, uh, skinny pants. The, the you wear, yeah. do you like a high waist, medium or low? Um, I, so what, what's the difference between high and medium? So high waist you would wear up here. Okay. Medium, just a drop lower. Low waist is probably like me, down to where the hips are. Here's my hip bone. So I think medium, yeah. Medium waist, okay. Yeah, medium waist. The differences are minimal, marginal. Mm -hmm. But it's just about delivering you the best fit. Right. Okay, anything else you wanna ask me? Even I'm excited. I'm super excited. So listen, you reach out to me and message me anytime. And if I have any queries, uh, I will I will message you on WhatsApp or I'll just uh, call you on video, okay? Great stuff. Great stuff. Thank, you so thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Um, you guys call Simon, come down now. And all his photos are printed out. And basically, you can give him the order. Hi everyone, do you have any questions for me? Before I go, I think that was the, my fourth live of the day. I think the most lives I've done in the day are uh, six. Uh, so I did three this morning, uh, a consultation to Nevada, <laughs> then a presentation to, uh, to New York, uh, it was uh, Long Island, and then a presentation to Vancouver, Canada, and now another consultation to somewhere in the United States. I, I, I didn't... Uh, ask him uh exactly where um i asked him i didn't ask him about cuff pant legs because uh he's incorporating this into his work wardrobe and he's after a very very skinny fit so i just you know i i, I don't think it's necessary and he, he's a small guy it's just gonna make him look smaller um so the cost of a suit is 650 us uh i think the buckles are great i only wear the buckles um, the measurement, there's a form on my website and the measurement form is designed for, uh, your partner, spouse, neighbor, family member, uh, you know, I could go on, uh, to, to measure your roommate. So it's really no issue. So everyone's just sending me their measurements, right? And this is something that's been going on for, since the year 2000, I designed this measurement form. So for a very long time. Over here, it's 2.29 p.m. I do most of my lives in the morning. Uh, so it's, it's different for me to do this today in the afternoon. My afternoon lives are rare. Thanks, I'm glad you like my suit. It's uh, one of my favorite suits. So instead, do you have any questions? Otherwise, I'm gonna shut you down because this is my main phone. I just wanna say hi to Bert Paddy and Andrew Kent. You guys are great. You always uh, support me uh, so much. Uh, I'm very, very, very grateful to you guys. I mean that. Uh, I do do linen suits. Um, and if you're after a suit, just send me a measurement. Send me a measurement through the form of my web website. Uh, delivery time is usually three weeks. Um, right now, it's four weeks because it's Chinese New Year, but that'll change to three weeks in, in, in a, uh, a couple of weeks' time again. Uh, it's just that most of my team will be away for the holidays here. And the holidays will run at least two weeks. Um, hey Ben, thanks for your compliment. Are you talking about the live just now? Are you talking about the three this morning? I thought the three this morning were amazing. 
uh, I had a lot of energy, a lot of energy uh, and stuff. And it was just it was just pretty sensational. This one was very quick, very swift. We had hammered out most of the stuff uh, over WhatsApp anyways. So instead, if you have any questions, uh, I'll take them. TikTok, I'll stay with you a bit longer. Um, Trevor is hoping to get to see you for a suit once we get back to traveling again. Have you been to my shop before, Trevor, here in Hong Kong? Uh, thanks, Ben. Does the price include a two-piece? I'm not sure I understand what I mean. A two-piece suit is a jacket and trouser. Uh, the tree in the... <laughs> Let me slow down. So, uh, two-piece suit is 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 uh, 650 US dollars uh, or thereabouts. It's easy to convert. Depends on your size, obviously, and where I'm delivering to. Um, uh, I don't understand what you mean by the blazer extra. Um, that tree in the morning, love when you're super into it. What do you mean by that tree, Ben? <laughs> <laughs> Forgive me. Uh, I haven't eaten since last night. So, Trevor, if you want to work with me, like everybody else, you can send me your measurements to the form of my website. Uh, I don't push and I don't sell. I'm just there to serve. Uh, ben, before I go, you want to tell me what you mean by the tree in the morning? I was wor I'm, I'm intrigued because I was working out on a tree this morning. Uh, but I, didn't, I wasn't live and I haven't posted any videos. But uh, the three lives this morning were... So so on fire. I was so on fire. I could be on fire right now, but I just had a weird, I have a weird team at lunch. My dad's brother is here and, and stuff. And I don't have my girls with me, uh, and stuff. So like everyone's looking at me with evil eyes. Well, my father and uncle are just looking at me with evil eyes. They just, they just spawn negativity. Yeah. The lives this morning were amazing. So TikTok, I mean, excuse me instead, last chance for a question. Uh, otherwise I'm going to shut this down. I wish I could stay with you guys forever, but I really need my main phone. Uh, in case I get a message. I'm like a slave to these phones right now. Okay, Insta, thanks for tuning in. I'll be back later or tomorrow morning for sure. Sad boy journey. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to working with you. Send me your measurements through the form of my website. Um, my favorite material to use is this tweed right now. I absolutely love it. Uh, it's tough to get me to actually tell you what my real favorite is because I love a lot of stuff. It's, it's hard to distinguish. It's not about what I think is the best. It's about what I think is going to be amazing for you. you know I mean, I really delve into your minds before I come up with something. You can tell I'm very moody, right? Because I go at very different paces all the time. Uh, uh, I'm, just, I'm always I'm either anxious, underslept, or, or when I say anxious, I'm, I'm, I'm more anxious about who's trying to get in touch with me, uh, who I'm committed to, and when I'm cautious, I mean on who's around me and stuff. I've got an, I've got an odd team. Jake Les, did I, am I helping you with the suit right now? Uh, or have I done it before? Uh, I'm so sorry. You like my tie? Uh, thank you, Mr. Mango. Magno. Tie is actually spelled T-I-E. Uh, forgive me if you, you were spelling it purpose on wrong purposely. I do that with the word tonight. T-O-N-I-T-E, I spell it. And night, N-I-T-E. <laughs> and a couple other things. So, again, Insta, I will say, if you have a question, shoot. Otherwise, I will go. Uh, last chance, otherwise I'm out of here. Uh, I am intrigued to know if any of you watching actually had a suit made from me before. Okay, so I will say bye to Instagram. Thanks for tuning in. I'll be back live later. Uh, my suit is probably slim to skinny. I mean, I've got skinnier ones. I'd, I'd say this is a pretty slim suit. Many guys would call it skinny, but I would still call it slim. Uh, I've got skinnier. Uh, most of my clients are North American. Uh, most of my clients are American, uh, historically. Well, in, 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 in recent history, I'd say, you know, my time here, my 21 years, most of my clients are American. Uh, probably in my father's time, uh, if you look at the first four decades, it's, uh, most of his clients are, are British. But definitely in the last two decades, most of my clients are American. Cool. Thank you, Instagram. Say bye to you guys.